What up, bros? Welcome to VDB TV. I'm your host, VDB. And today, I have a special little treat for you. You may notice that this is me down here. So, I was in a lobby with a bunch of high level players, and they were, we were just doing like 1v1s and stuff. Please ignore my 31 OS, that's super inflated at the moment. And I saw someone play on this map, and I thought to myself, I think I have a tactic for this, because if you don't know this map, this map is Lake Khan version 2.0.1. And you may think that this is a way to go, but you cannot cross this water with any units except hovercrafts, aircraft, and boats. So the current meta is to build boats, take this middle, and eco up, um, or go air and i saw a match and then i thought i'm gonna try something so i asked to play in the next match and what i'm wondering is if you guys can help me refine this this is seems easily counterable from my eyes my perspective but it has to be scouted and as far as i'm aware no one's done this before so 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 let have a watch and let me know what you guys think you see i'm starting in a weird position and C3BO starting in more of a normal position. He's got a basically stock standard opener. So you'll see how this works against stock standard builds that aren't really expecting it. I'm assuming once this gets out, people will start doing this more often. You can see he's going bot here. And what he's going to do is he's going to reclaim his bot lab and then start building ships. Because that's basically the meta for this map. But you'll see that I am actually over here building a bot lab. Now this is a bit of a sticky one because I'm obviously going to be super far behind on economy um, and army value even. But the thing I have on my side is surprise and an attack from an angle that no one is expecting. Um, getting my first construction bot and the reason I'm not assisting it with my commander is he can't actually reach to assist this. I think I say that in a second here. Uh, so I can't, I, there you go. So I can't actually assist, so that really puts this back a, a little bit. Maybe there's some way that I, I can assist, not quite sure. Like maybe I build a bot lab down here and then some construction turrets and then build a bot lab up here? I, I don't know. Like there, there's probably a, a more refined way to do this. But if you guys can think of anything, let me know, because I, I would be very interested. Um, I've got a little bit of metal now, so I've got a baseline metal here. And I'm working on some energy for my commander because I want to build this construction turret as fast as I can. The wind is treating me very, very kindly at the moment. So this is about as good of a start, I imagine, as I could get. Maybe I could have built some wind before I went to get the metal extractors and that would have really sped things up a little. But all in all, I don't think I'm too far behind optimized for this. I'm not quite sure. I'm not building anything at the moment because I didn't really have enough energy. I think I start building in a second. Uh, but yeah, just just have a have a look at this game, guys, and see me what you see me, and let me know what you think could optimize this. I think an easy counter to this is if someone builds hovercrafts to open, and they send a hovercraft down, and as soon as they spot that there's no labs anywhere, uh, they can try and take these metal extractors of my energy, and then send other hovercrafts up to defend this position. Or, uh, if you've gone like C3VO, get some units, like some ticks or something out. Send your ticks over. As soon as you scout that it's here, you're ahead. Because you've got a way stronger eco, as you can see. I'm just starting to get units out. My construction turret's basically finished. And now I'm going to go into getting more energy with my construction bot. And you can see I don't have problems with metal at the moment. Because I've barely spent any metal. The wind is screwing me at the moment. So I am using my construction turret to build the energy instead of the units. And I'll do that until I get a decent amount of energy. I think I just build these two and then I go back to building units. Meanwhile, my commander is expanding on metal, trying to keep that metal uh, income high. And C3BO has in fact moved over to build shipyard. He's reclaimed his bot lab. It's all, all quite stock standard-ish. <clears throat> I thought this guy was AFK, but he's not. And yeah, this is basically how most people seem to open this map like i said i'd only seen one game played on this map and this is basically how both players did it last game it was two different players <coughs> oh please excuse me so yeah you can see he's getting a scout out that's a little inside joke from earlier in the day please please ignore it or don't ignore it 
Centurion was raging about the wind. You can see I've got five pawns already. I think the sixth one is enough. And the wind is kind of screwing me. Ha! <laughs> I didn't actually see Raxel's reply there because he said it in spec chat. There you go. I think six is enough. Is that what I sent? Because the wind is kind of screwing me again, so... And now C3BO thinks, what is going on? Because he d can't actually see anything happening. He doesn't know that I don't have anything down here. Yep, so I've actually gone for seven pawns. And you can see, once this eighth one pops, I actually change this to ticks. Because ticks will be able to catch these guys once I get a couple out. C3BO is now crossing the map, trying to claim these middle mixes. Which, once again, is the meta. And he's getting himself a destroyer out, because he knows that I don't have anything in the ocean yet. I was contemplating whether to send these guys over here and clear this, but I didn't want to give it away. Because if I gave it away, he could have time to build defenses. I want to send this straight in. So these ticks here will, in fact, be going over to start clearing mixes. And this is basically it, guys. I, I have an alright income for what I'm spending. I'm obviously way behind, but that's about to change. He's just reclaimed his shipyard, so that's a bit of a uh, bad luck. And he's building... Oh, and he's building air. He doesn't actually have the income for air. I've got more energy than him now. And he's trying to build an LLT. But he won't have enough time to do it. That's why I didn't want to give it away. I didn't want him to get that LLT out. And that is GG. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if it's a great tactic or not. It seems to work against 40 OS players that don't know it's coming. So, maybe you play, play this map against your friends and use it before people catch on. But yeah, let me know uh, a few things, actually. Let me know what you think could easily counter this and any ways that this could be refined. Maybe maybe getting an air transport and then building something over here, but I think that would be seen by a radar. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I look forward to hearing your feedback. Have a good one.